Hello and welcome to Excellence Academy. For today, we'll be looking at how to expand things of this nature. So if I'm given to expand the square root of 1 minus x all over 1 plus x, what do I do? The first concept, as always, is to express your things um, in index form. But before then, first of all, from the idea of um, indices or from sorts, we know that root a over b can be written as root a all over root b. That means I can rewrite this as equal to the square root of the numerator 1 minus x all over the square root of the denominator 1 plus x. It's still correct. Alright. This is now equal to my next step would be to write them in index form. In index form, this becomes 1 minus x over 1 over 2. All over, this becomes 1 plus x over 1 over 2. So I have both of them in index form. But again, this is not totally in index form because I can rewrite as saying this is equal to um, 1 minus x to the power 1 over 2 multiplying 1 all over 1 plus x to the power 1 over 2. So hence, this will now be equal to, this one becomes 1 minus x to the power 1 over 2 multiplying this now is 1 plus x to the power minus 1 all over 2. Place them side by side. I will have that that's equal to um, 1 minus x to the power 1 over 2 multiplying 1 plus x to the power minus 1 over 2 minus 1 over 2. Alright? To express the index form, to eliminate this, I will put minus here. And that's how we have this minus, somehow in this. So I now have this um, in index forms. So my next step will be I will, I will multiply both of them, or I will expand both of them simultaneously. Alright, so we, we so we have this. And probably by now you, you must have mastered the general expansion formula that we use here. So I'll just go ahead, I'll just go ahead to expand this using the general expansion formula for rational and negative index. Alright, so this, this now becomes for here, becomes a, that's 1, to the power n, 1 over 2, all over 0 factorial, plus n, 1 over 2, a, 1, into n, 1 over 2, minus 1. Next up, b, minus x, all over 1 factorial plus n 1 over 2 into n minus 1 1 over 2 minus 1 into a that's 1 and then n minus 2 1 over 2 minus 2 then next up b square b gets minus x so minus x all square all over 2 factorial. So I'm expanding just to the third term for convenience sake. So this is this. This expansion is for this one. All to the third term. Take up with this to become multiply still. This one gives you n. That's a 1 to the power n. n here becomes minus 1 over 2 all over 0 factorial plus um, n, n is minus 1 all over 2 into a 1 into n minus 1 minus 1 over 2 minus 1 then b, b in this case is plus x or just x to power 1 that's b all over 1 factorial plus gives you n minus 1 over 2 into n minus 1 minus 1 over 2 minus 1 then a that's 1 into n minus 2 
minus 1 over 2 minus 2 into b squared. That gives you x all squared all over 2 factorial. I have this. And this becomes um, what I have on expanding both of them. Alright, taking them one of the other, this is equal to, um, this gives me, this gives me, um, this gives me 1, I said 1 is for anything is 1, so don't bother. This gives you 1 all over 1, yeah? Alright, plus, this gives you 1 over 2 into, this is 1 is for anything, yeah, it gives you 1, so don't bother, 1 into minus x, so into minus x all over 1 factorial is 1. Since I'm using round bracket here, I'll change this to a square bracket. Okay? Plus, this gives you 1 over 2 into 1 over 2 minus 1 is minus 1 over 2 into 1 square, whatever has come, will give you 1, not for that. Minus x all squared, that's minus x times minus x, that's obviously positive x squared. All over 2 factorial is 2. I have this. Alright, so 1 for anything gives you 1, so I go to order. That's 1 all over 0 factorial is 1. Uh, plus, this is minus 1 over 2. 1 is for any other form is 1, surely. Then next we have x all over 1 factorial is 1. So I have plus, this is minus 1 over 2 into minus 1 over 2 minus 1 gives you minus 3 over 2. Okay? So 1 is for any other form will give you 1. Don't stress. This one now gives you x squared dot x squared all over 2 factorial is 2. So we have this value. Alright, this is how it is again. So this is now equal to 1. This gives you 1. Okay. So 1 into, this becomes half times 1 is half. Half of minus x gives you plus, this gives you minus x over 2. Numerator all over 1. So I'm still going to use round brackets since I have, I'm going to use square brackets since I have round brackets here. So this is half times 1 is half. So half times minus x gives you minus x by 2. Alright, so I'm having plus 1 times minus 1 is minus 1 times 1 is minus 1 times x squared gives you minus x squared all over 2 times 2 is 4. This one here, yeah, all over 2. So all over 2, alright? So this one goes with numerator. 1 times minus 1 is minus 1 times 1. Minus 1 times x squared. Minus x squared. 2, what we did on it of now? 2 times 2 is 4. All over 2. So I have this one here. Yeah? Into next up. 1 over 1 is 1. Um, plus. So half times 1 minus half times 1 is minus half times x is minus x over 2. Of course, all over 1, that's minus x over 2. Okay? Plus, so this is minus x over 2 divided by 1, which is same as minus x over 2. So minus 1 times minus 3 gives you positive 3. Minus times minus gives you plus. 1 times 3 gives you 3 times x squared gives you 3x squared all over 2 times 2 is 4. This becomes the numerator all over 2. So I'm having all over 2. So I have this thing here. Simplify for that. This is now equal to. So I have. Uh, this now gives. the half um, square bracket 1 here. Yeah. So, plus minus gives minus. This gives x over 2, right? x over 2 over 1 is x over 2. Um, plus minus is minus. This gives 
x squared upon the one. We said for these two, we multiply them. That's 2 times 4. Alright, multiply these two. It works that way. Alright, since I don't have any brackets here, perhaps I should use the round bracket. So I have this. This one into this is 1. Okay, plus minus is minus x all over 2. So plus plus this is 3x squared. 3x squared all over. Multiply this to 4 times 2 or 2 times 4. Whichever one gives the correct answer. So finally, this gives me uh, 1 minus x over 2 minus x squared all over 2 times 4 is 8. This into 1 minus x over 2 into plus 3x squared all over 4 times 2 is 8. So this becomes my answer. These are the expansion to the first three terms for each of them. If you want, you can use this to multiply through and get your answer. Or you can simply stop here. So this is what you get on expansion.